So welcome everyone. Let's we'll start our third lesson, lesson three. In this lesson, we'll cover our LO3, uh, learning outcome three, and we'll go through the English course and uh, how these course work. So that will be focused. My name is Anjum Sathar and my email address is anjum at ukversity.co.uk. Please, if you have any question, just drop me email on my email address. So before starting this lesson, let's we'll discuss what we learned in last two previous lessons. Anybody, any anything you remember what we learned? Lesson one and lesson two? Mm. What do you think what we learned? Anything you remember from last two lessons? Yes, please. Anybody remember anything what we learned during lesson one, lesson two? So no problem. We'll discuss then lesson one. We discuss about um, difference between criminal and civil law. We discuss between public and civil uh, private law. We discuss about uh, uh, contract law is come under civil law, and uh, we discuss about uh, literal and various others. You know the concepts within the legislation and we discuss all these in our lesson one then lesson two we also discuss about uh, interpretation how we can interpret the things within a law and when we'll judge make the decision how they can interpret the things we discuss about intrinsic extrinsic we discuss about literal we discuss about uh, uh, we discuss about literal, we discuss about golden rules, the chef rules and the purpose and the approaches we discuss in lesson two as well. So this lesson, two day lesson is really focused about our court system within the UK and how these courts work. So that's really, really will be focused in our lesson three. So that's inductive content, what we're supposed to learn under this unit. So in term of your knowledge what do you think how much you know about how you can rank yourself how much you know about court system which court is what about anyone please can you rate yourself you think five ten eight nine where do you think yourself at the moment so on six six or seven six or seven yes well done. Okay. Anyone else? Yeah, I'll say seven. Seven. Okay. Good. So, yes. Anyone else? So, we think six, seven. Yes. Well done. So, that is good, you know, because it's start and that's all our inductive content, what we're supposed to learn. Okay. So, first assessment yeah. criteria we have today. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, I was just. Did we did we discuss anything about European court or European law? Uh, no, we not thoroughly discuss. Maybe we just generic, you know, just mention in last lesson. But we'll go through today lesson. Huh? All right. Because it's a part of today lesson. So describe oh. the court and uh, which will go through both criminal and civil court. So which one is a criminal and which one is a civil? What we know about. So if I'll say magistrate court and the county court, so which one is a civil, which one is a criminal? If the criminal matter goes which court? Criminal matters. Yes? Yeah. Which court deals with that? The question again. Anyone which court we think? And civil matters. It's county court, yes. Other is a magistrate court, yes. Yeah. Yep. So that's we'll go through magistrate court. Okay. Next, now we'll go through these court systems. Yes. Highest court of land is the Supreme Court in the UK. Is the highest court of the land is the Supreme Court. So, of course, any matters can be goes to Supreme Court. 
then we have a court of appeal which is high court yes court of appeal is a bench yes within a high court the high court then we have a county court then we have some tribunal as well like employment tribunals huh? so these are the tribunal so we have civil courts in england so the supreme court the court of appeal and high court yes basically is part of and then we have a queen different three benches huh? we have three bench in court then we have a county court and uh, where they not really here indicate but is a magistrate court as well huh? and tribunal which will go through for that so what is the supreme court this is the higher most body of civil judiciary in the united kingdom in uk and the criminal judiciary in england wales and northern ireland as well so it is the court of the final appeal when it comes to the civil cases in england and wales so court of appeal are two divisions in the court of appeal criminal and the civil so civil division and the of the court of appeal here the appeals from the high court and the tribunal under the certain circumstances from the county courts and the decision of the court of appeal are binding on itself and all other courts excluding the supreme court they have to follow them so basically is a hierarchy so we need to be look around the top so if any order give the supreme court the every other court need to be followed so that's we need to look around because at the top in the ranking yes top in so any case law anything here any judgment will come all other courts they can follow as well because that's the highest court this year the high court have three divisions within the high court so queen bench division they handle all the cases related to contract and the tort law which we learn in the lesson 2 and the 1 as well we discuss the court segment that falls under the division include the commercial court commercial courts is a commercial matters think about uh, commercial divisions yeah commercial matters lot of you know the some solicitor of the commercially they are qualified they have a business knowledge and the commercial knowledge then the mercantile law which is also business mercantile is all about the business activities the court related to the business issues merrility court some you know the court have those are different matters related to it can be military and various other matter they can deal with it technology and construction court administrative court the administrative matters you know admin matters so that deal with these under this division then we have a family division uh, these are the houses of the company court divisional court and the patents court patents do you know the patents what is meant by patents mm. anybody knows patents like um to the college can that um yeah so patents is a copyright <laughs> copyright yes so think about an like so nike sign and various other so that's we need to that's a brand yes so patents and those you know they issue like somebody copied your things and use it as your right even the software and various others so that's come under the patent so then we have other generally division so this division of a house court which handled all the issues relating to the family law so family laws related issues is handled in this so division of the court high court through the binding and can be appealed to the civil division of the court of appeal so next anybody any question then we have a county sorry. court sorry can we go back to that slide again please if you don't mind sorry no 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 that's fine it is it says family law will come on the chancery division is that correct yes okay. and the family division i mean 
patent court will be under the family division. I'm just trying to see. If it's a little bit confusing there. I don't know whether okay. uh, the family yeah, division will handle that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's look there. The House of Company Count Divisional Court and the Patent. Yes. This is the family law, yes. Okay. This is the division which will for the look, you know. Uh high court divisions, yes. Just one. We'll make sure I'll check. Should be right, but Okay, give me a minute. I'll open my other slides. So, because we have a three divisions, just want to verify. Yeah? I got okay, so it's wrong. Deal with the complex family issues, international child. Okay, so these are three divisions, huh? Okay, can you see, please? So it should be the other way around, yeah, that's fine. Hmm? So, so I want to walk there because I picked the last year slides. Yes. So in this one, we have deal with the matters such as the company laws, partnership, yeah, bankruptcy. Thus, we deal under this, deal with the contract law and the tort mm -hmm. law, and the, this is a family case, family division, huh? slightly mix up there. Any question there? Huh. Okay. We'll replace it. We'll clear up. Any question there? We all okay? Okay. Next, please. Yeah, this is. So, this is now. We look at the Supreme Supreme Court House of Lord. Yes, the past Lord. And then the divisional court, Queen Bench. We have Mistrade Court, Court of Appeal, and the Crown Court. Yes. Any question there? Okay. No. Next, Supreme Court is the final Court of Appeal in the UK, and it's appear. It's here that are uh, deals with all the arguable point in the law and the point important as a whole of the UK in the civil cases like you know uh, in the past was the issue about the Brexit the case went to the Supreme Court and the S Supreme Court said that the parliament uh, and parliament has the power to make some decision but they have to take on board you know the various other views as well so final hearing should be given to parliament so that's why the parliament gave the vote to be finally the Brexit, you know, the deals and uh, supposed to be outside EU. So that was the one of the case. The Judiciary Committee look around the council, which it consists of the justice, Supreme Court and some senior Commonwealth. Do we know the Commonwealth judges? You know the Commonwealth, how many countries? Anybody knows approximately how many countries Commonwealth? Approximately around 20, 20 thing, 20. Yes, around 20 plus, you know, the countries used to be. 
so still you know the commonwealth countries around 20 mm-hmm. so their judges yes final court of appeal number of commonwealth countries as well as the uk overseas territories crown dependencies and militaries all these you know the things which normally the case is heard and the court of appeal and the high court constitute of senior courts of england and wales the court of appeal is split courts and divide into divisions which is we discuss you know civil and with criminal the crown court side is center around england and wales and deals with the criminal cases and transferred from the magistrate court and including serious crimes serious crimes like murders and various other serious crimes so the magistrate court which it deal with the criminal matters yes cases first instance less serious cases those are in wall so it deal with the magistrate um, court as well as the some civil matters which normally is goes in the civil court so magistrate deal with the three kind of offenses less serious either way the cases can be heard either the magistrate court before the uh, magistrate court or before a judge or the jury in the crown court in the crown court is not a full sometime you know the jury they can be make the decision on the based on the paper uh, then it can be full court where the jury will involve so that's all the court system in uk which is based on supreme court high court then magistrate court county courts uh. these are the key courts those are then of course is the appellate which is the tribunal we have as well subdivisions okay explain the process of appeal so next we have a 3.2 learning so court of appeal in the most cases permission to appeal to court of appeal is required one has to lodge the appellant notice within 21 days of the decision to be appealed along with the ground of appeal the full documentation and skeleton argument should have to be provided shortly after that so if the permission is granted the appeal will be heard usually before the three person court three people in the court yes usually no one no new evidence is allowed as the face fact and we can look around these available at the high court stage but sometime it is possible to fail file you know the fresh evidence like you applied for the court of appeal first thing that is jr do we know the jr what is the jr stand for anybody heard about jr no what is the jr judicial review yes so like if is a home office matters and the home office is not giving visas to someone so they can appeals to the first tribunal second tribunal but maybe they don't have a right of appeal so they can apply for the appeal in the jr judicial review yes they can say in the law it should be and it should be given the permission and then the court of appeal will grant to upper tribunal and then they heard it can be oral and the uh, and of course you know it can be written and this can be full court huh? any question there okay next we looking appeal process supreme court of united kingdom which judgment in the court of appeal could be good route to getting permission to appeal to supreme court so we have appeal but heard not been decided in and it can be case to the further court which is a court of supreme court from the court of appeal direct and the appeal committee of three supreme court justice will decide whether to grant the permission to appeal or not uh, one of the case law been recently in the court of appeal which home office changed some legislation based on the supreme court judgment permission is a given extremely we can look around and usually in the relation to the cases involved in the important points of principle 
so point of principle because maybe the any department like work and pension or various other department not apply the law properly and they want to be interpret and three judges can give and then they will these will be here heard in the supreme court and then you uk government have to change the legislations accordingly and these there are the different case laws as well available any question there anybody any question no okay next we have 3.0 uh, m1 which is explain the type of the cases heard at the each level of the court so we can basically is quite link you know if you just want to do the past criteria we can go through the past criteria which we discussed 3.1 and 3.2 and 3.m1 which is about the merit and we can discuss about we already mentioned this criminal the state court less serious offenses crown court is more serious offenses we can find lot of case laws which we will go through and the uh, county court high court for both court of appeal civil and criminal and then supreme court is count the court of land and then we have a county court district judges and the circuit judges we normally we have high court judges court of appeal have a lord lady and the justice of appeal the same of the civil and the criminal law straight court and the district judges and then crown court circuit judges and the high court judges so that's the judiciary the county court the matter include the contract tort and the land lord and the tenant will and divorce and solvency so all these cases need to be heard in the court which is a civil matter the so county court so which court depend on the value and the complexity and the issues involved generally the known personal injury claim and the compensation less than 50000 and up to 100000 are heard in the county court but if is more than that it can goes to which court then the high court which go high court is yes. so there lot of you know the cases so more cases can be local level sort of not big level so that can be heard into the county court and high at the discretion of the judge they can transfer between county and the high they can maybe they can't make the decision uh, okay this we already discuss about divisions in the uh, and we have three divisions in the high court and uh, we can find lot of case laws in supreme courts and various courts so if we look some case laws so we can say court of appeal we can use lot of case laws case laws so if you want to find any case laws so there are plenty different depends you know which case law you want to like you will see there recently some case laws huh? i can copy the link for you so you can pick the case laws of different nature because the different court have a different so high court uh, some immigration matters can be in some employment tribunal matters can be in these courts huh? so we can look around some cases sir sure, can i i didn't get okay that's the the link the judiciary that you can so we'll see there that's you know the court of appeal is a civil matter there yes okay. so different court court of appeal so we can go through and i not really properly copied all my stuff you know so there are the lot of case laws we can use them uh in term of like if you look the human rights yes the case normally goes to a high court so human rights cases uh goes to high court oh, just one second i'll show you some case laws there are the lot of you know the case laws can we
so if it, the you know the sum case laws like here this is the contractual capacity case laws huh, between so we can look around these case laws we can embed it in our when we'll do actually assignment so in assignment i'll pick you know some case laws in uh, our lesson four huh, where we look the case laws and we'll see you know how these been heard in different courts huh, to address our learning outcomes so that's one of the case laws which is between nosh and when in 19 is quite old case laws yes the minor capacities and things you know with dealing with the children huh? that's a civil matter the huh? family courts so we can look around those so if you want to hear uh, one other website is we can court of appeal and we can find all the case you know uk justice system and we have all the case laws normally the court you know these case laws people use and even they buy the especially solicitor buy the books you know these case laws when they prepare the case they use the case laws so is that's the high court case law and that's you know the civil court case laws which is one of them there can be penalties in different capacities okay any question there Yes, can I ask you a question, please? Uh, the question 3M1, are we going to use case laws to answer that question? Yes, we, we need to. If you want to work towards merit, yes. So you you can include one or two case laws. Huh? 3M1, yeah, this one, yeah. This one. So if you want to be, you yeah. can discuss the course, and but you need to include the, you know, the case law of civil matters and at least, you know, two case laws. Huh? So what I'll do, I'll I'll give you some case laws, yes. Okay. When, when we'll go through assignment, yes. So I'll mm -hmm. I'll say you know this if you want to do merit, yes. So these case laws you can use. I'll include three, four. Huh? you can pick one, two. Huh? at least okay. two to address it. Because we are in ATHE, we have a, a three criteria, a three you know the grading criteria is a pass merit and distinction so which is good to be work on the high level huh? okay. and we can look around the case huh? but i'll assist you those huh? give you the book yeah. it's a case case law book you know which i'll send you as well you can pick your own huh? of your choice look the title huh? look the latest better to be used the latest one huh? some case law can be very historical but it depends huh? So next we need to look around explain the relationship between english law and the european law what is the relationship what do you think english law and european law is there any relationship why uk decide to go outside brexit one of the reason was ECJs. Do we know the ECJs? What is meant by? Economic. Yes, European Court judgments. Huh? So ECJs. Yes, these are the European Court. Like in the UK Supreme Court, they gave some decision. That decision can be challenged into the European Court of Justice. Huh? Like lot lot of human human uh, human right matters. Huh? like somebody we want to deport like various you know the terrorism cases in the past so someone was uh, one of the guy from london being deported to his country and under and he used to challenge it because a lot of uk laws being changed on the human rights because the european union and the various that they used to challenge it and even further can be uno uno legislation yeah united nation so uk joined in 1973 eu the parliament passed european communities act 1972 which came into force in first january 1973 to enable eu laws to become part of the english law so eu laws like equality 
like recently gdpr gdpr basically this is a european law as well general data protection regulation and worker rights so as employer have to follow these and these been embedded into the uk law as well itself so 28 member state include the great britain the purpose to ensure the closer economic ties between the states eu law must be followed over the domestic laws so that's we need to there is a relationship eu laws must be followed over the domestic law as well so have more powers so institution of eu european council made up the head of states plus president of the european commission council of eu council making attend by the minister from each member state european parliament have 751 members now will change of course after 1st january onward uh, of course uk will be outside the brexit so 701 without the uk so how many will be 705 so elected every 5 years so recently have election that's that's why you seen the president of uh, european union is being changed eh? okay uh, then the european commission one commission from each member state for 5 year so court of justice of eu is lumsburg and interpret the laws of eu and appeal and applies to all the member state eh? okay source of eu laws primary is a treaty and agreement between country regulation binding on all the member state directive set the goals but allow each state to choose how they will achieve yeah they give them directions the c and don't have a binding force on other state they may be relevant on the particular state and the person or the company sir huh? okay next some can be what reference so it can be a primary source can i ask a question sorry before we go before we continue sorry can we can i ask a quick question please yes sure man so we go into now the now that the uk is out of you now with the brexit uh, emergence um what happens to what what happens to the relationship there is it are the laws still going to be binding on the uk citizens uh, no because after the european union yes is need to be a new treaty which is called free movement uk won't be bound to follow the european ecj yes okay. so maybe at the at the moment is a discussion going around if you follow ecjs like uk will follow ecjs yes european court judgments yes all the laws what they we can do the trade deals yes but you carry on following our legislation free movement can be stopped up to some extent but maybe the trade and the various other things but the legislation will carry on okay but now the uk need to write all own laws after the brexit or they can embed their laws into own laws huh? okay. become own laws but then the court can't give them direction in future huh? you do this way or that way that's a huge you know the area of discussion is going around at the moment is a huge you know the brexit will and how will be okay next we looking the primary what reference we have so we look the primary reference legislation name act or the regulation plus es so we can abbreviate yes so company act 2006 which is deal with the company laws legal cases party's name plus the legal reference so rv 1995 crm l you know the crime are the reference number and then civil matters is right like this yes versus v the full names you know which parties and when scan resource can be different source where we can get the information at the reference 
where we can use the case laws, all these, you know, which we discussed one of in the lesson one and two as well. Okay, next we now look now. Uh, we have some uh, sort of quizzes which will help us to further go through this. So please, I'm not sure. Uh, let's will play. So on your screen, this display now in a minute. So please, can we type the word Kahoot it? Please type the word Kahoot it. And please enter this pin number. Okay, let's please. No. So. Sorry, I didn't. Sorry, I'm just trying to. Okay, if you want me, I can send you a message. Yeah? Kahoot.it. Yes, and then we'll give you the option to enter the PIN number and you can choose your name. Yeah. Uh, either nickname or your name full. Okay. So, what is my what's it PIN again? So, let me just get it. So, yeah, PIN number is 9133. Seven. Okay, well done. You there. Who else is nine trying? One, nine one three three seven six one. Well done. Six, one. Okay, Abby. Okay, brilliant. So let's will start up. Huh? So normally as quick you answer on your screen, you have to see here, but you need to maybe look other on your screen will show four boxes. Huh? <clears throat> okay, let's please. Right. And you have a timer. So first you have a question. Crown court tries civil cases. Is it true or false? So on your, you have a two colors on your. Huh? Okay, well then it's false. Huh? Okay. Next now, don't worry, please. Uh, a youth court can hear the criminal cases of the young offender age. What do you think? Maybe you not discuss, but you can look around younger. Which age group you think? Three seconds. Yes, two. Oh, uh, not been picked. Okay. That's between 10 and 17 year old. If a young offender, yes. Yeah? The court can hear the criminal case for the young offender age between this. Okay, next. So, what do you think? Which court? Offense, yes. The Crown Court, yes. Okay, next. Murders can be tried yet at. So please, if we're living in Nottingham, let's assume we're living in Nottingham. Huh? I don't know about the English school. English school. We're living in Nottingham. Huh? Hmm. Okay, of course, Nottingham court. Yes, well done. Okay, next. The Crown Court, Mistrade Court, or both courts can be the serious as a matter of, or none of these courts. Wow. 
yes well done it's both codes huh? okay next please an example of viable either way is a fancy manslaughter murder theft all of them Theft, yes. Okay, next. Well done. A summary offense is tried at the magistrate court. Okay, good. Okay, next please. Lay person is a qualified legal person. False. Okay, next please. The Supreme Court is the highest court in the UK for the civil matters. True or false? Okay, true. Okay, well then, next. The standard of proof in the criminal court is? Is it balance of probability beyond the reasonable doubt or is it above 80% chance or none of these? Yes, beyond all reasonable doubt. Huh? Okay, next. Appeal court try cases with the judge and jury. Is it true or false? Next, separate, separation of power include judiciary, government, or all of them. All of them, good. Okay. Yes, please. Mistrade cost is a sentence someone maximum or fine. If the matter is serious, they can refer to high court. All of them, yes. Because these are low level case so who decide the guilty in the crown court the jury yes Correct spelling. Okay, 
okay well done correct good okay well done so today lesson we learn about the code system and uh, that's all you know so we discuss so further we can discuss the case laws which i'll send you some case laws to look when we'll go through the assignment brief and we'll go through the more case laws under each code anybody any question So now we have only left thing, which is our LO4, yes, which will go through mm -hmm. LO4, and then I will one lesson will go through assignment brief. Huh? So next lesson will be LO4. Any question, anyone? Okay. Okay, so today we just learn about the basic code system in the UK and uh, further we'll go through the case laws and uh, that's all, you know, uh, in learning outcome three. Yeah. If you have any question, please drop me email and uh, when we'll go through assignment brief, so I'll explain you more in detail each and everything and we'll contextualize our discussion with these codes and the concepts. Huh? Okay. So that's all today. And I uh, hope so everyone speak to you next week and next lesson, uh, sorry, next lesson, which will be on Friday. Mm -hmm. Thanks for mm -hmm. attending. Thank you.